How's it going guys? So I wanted to give a quick update on the Crypto Hopper. So I'm taking a little break from the uh, pump and dumps. Um, they're just, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I mean, they're just getting harder and harder to profit from. The uh, There's just so many insiders now. I mean, these admins are literally selling um, the coin ahead of announcement. So, I mean, obviously they know the coin that they're going to announce, you know, before the pump. So they're, you know, letting these people know is like, hey, if you want the coin, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes in advance, even up to maybe 30 minutes in advance of announcement, you know, if you pay me, you know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, $500, I'll give you the coin. Um, so, you know, they're getting smarter, or should I say even greedier. So, I mean, literally, almost all these pump groups now are doing that. And some of, some of them are even offering like tiered, um, like tiered buy-in so like tier tier one would be you know you get the coin five minutes in advance or tier two you get the coin you know like 10 minutes in advance and obviously you would pay more you know the sooner you would get uh you know get it in advance and then as soon as those people get the coin you know they buy it and then you know by the time you get up to the announcement the coins already peaked at the top price so i mean normal people like you know you and me that would participate in, in these pump and dumps I mean, it's just impossible to make money. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. You can still profit. Um, there's still good pump groups out there. Um, they're just harder to find. So don't just go and find any old pump group and think you're going to make money because you're not. I mean, it's it's rigged from the beginning, to be honest. So, um, and that's one of the reasons, too, that uh, Facebook group that I manage, the Life Zoltar Investing, it's kind of, we maintain a spreadsheet in that group where we kind of go over um all the good groups kind of which ones can be trusted but to tell you the truth i mean every week that goes by that le that that list keeps getting smaller and smaller i mean you just these these groups just keep getting more and more greedier or the admins of, of these groups so um so anyways that's the whole pump and dumps i mean yes you can still make money uh you know, then there's the whole ethical issue. I mean, you know, somebody has to lose. But then again, it's no different than going to Las Vegas and gambling your money or, you know, buying a product from an infomercial. You know, I mean, that, the whole point of making money is someone else is losing money, right? So people are saying, oh, this is unethical. But at the same time, you know, are those same are those folks going to Las Vegas and, you know, yelling at the casinos or yelling at, you know, companies that make inferior products? Um, it's, it's really no different. So now me personally, I would never lead a pump group. Um, just, there's just too much blowback and it's just not me. Um, but I still participate in them. You can still profit, like I said, and I'm still willing to, you know, in that group, give advice on, you know, the good ones that I've done. And then everyone else kind of writes in and, you know, says, you know, you know, these past few days I participated in this one, this one was good. This one was bad. Um, but anyways, this video is about crypto hopper. I already talked too much about pump and dumps, but I'm kind of shifting more of my focus and my time on bots, on trading bots, because I think there's a huge potential there. And if you can get these things set up right, I mean, you can make a lot of money and it's pretty much automated. Um, unlike those pump groups, yes, they say they can go from you know, zero to a thousand percent in 15 minutes, but the chance of you getting anything anywhere near a thousand percent is basically slim to none unless you're the admin of the group. And, you know, it's just impossible to do. And then, you know, not everyone and their brother is now trying to start a pump group and, you know, you know, asking folks, you know, do you want to be the admin with me? I mean, it's not easy, right? I mean, you need at least 500 to a thousand people to start one of these groups. Um, and then, I mean, there's, uh, then people come after you too, right? So, you know, if people lose money, if people find out who you are, if you're leading one of these groups, I mean, people will come after you. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a good thing to do. I do not recommend it. Um, so my recommendation is you can still gamble in it because that's what you're doing. You're gambling. There is technique. Don't get me wrong. I made a video on that, uh, one or two videos on this before there are techniques on this, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still gambling, right? Um, uh, so just, just be careful. Um, and if you're not in that, uh, Facebook group, the life Sultar investing, you know, we give a lot of advice in that group, what to do, what not to do, what groups to participate in, what groups not to participate in. Um, we maintain a, an active spreadsheet, um, 
of of groups but like i said i mean it, it, every day that goes by they that that list gets smaller and smaller because one you know there's this one group that i've been using and then literally the next time i use them i go and and place a buy order and or or, and then you know try to sell it and it's already maxed out so in other words there's insiders now so anyways all right back to back to the trading bot so you can see here um uh, this is week two or three um this is my second video on crypto hopper i uh, love it absolutely love it so check out the first video i did on this um it was my basic first time setup i'm using poloniex um, and in, in that other video, I go over how to set it up, um, how to hook it into Plonex and all that. So this is just kind of my second week, second or third week, I don't remember, update of, uh, of the bot. So as you can see, let's, first of all, today is January 22nd and the market is garbage today. I mean, look at, I mean, eight, Bitcoin's down, what, 8%. Everything is in the red. Um, literally i mean look at this all the top 50 coins are literally just tanked in the red so here's what's cool about crypto hop are you ready so everything is tanked but check this out i still made profit so 22nd was here so it still made four sell orders today for uh trade orders and i profit profited um you know, two and a half, um, closer to three percent, closer to three percent, um, close to four percent on each one of these trades. So that's pretty darn good. Um, that's pretty darn good. I'll gladly take that. Um, I mean, if you think about it, uh, you know, like a bank, you're lucky to get, you know, two percent a year, let alone a day on a savings account so i mean literally a savings account right now at a bank will give you under one percent a year and these trades i'm making you know two three percent a day so it's it's pretty awesome it's pretty cool stuff so that's basically it so let me just show you um the whole idea of this youtube channel and these videos is just to be 100 percent transparent um just to show you what's been working for me um and you know just i want everyone to be you know successful in crypto and i really want crypto to uh you know just kind of go mainstream and i think in order to do that i think everyone kind of needs to dip into it and be successful with it and the only way for everyone to be successful with it is uh for people like myself that's you know getting success is to share it right so i have nothing to hide i'm not like a lot of people you know, they may have a, a bot set up and they're, you know, they're killing it. But, you know, most of those people aren't going to sh uh, show you like the, you know, the big guys, like the whales, they call them, right? Where they're, they have all these bots set up and they're making millions. You know, obviously I'm not making millions because I didn't start with millions. But, um, but anyways, I mean, that's what these guys are doing. I mean, they have trading bots set up and they're pumping, you know, they have obviously a ton of money to start with. But if, if they're making two, three, four percent you know, on thousands and millions of dollars. I mean, that's, you know, that's how they, uh, that's how they come ahead. So, so anyways, let me show you what the, um, and again, if you're not familiar, um, with how I'm doing this, uh, check out that other video I have. Um, I think it's the video before this one. And I'll, I'll show you kind of how I have it tapped into the signals, um, and all that. But for this video, I'm just going to show you, um, a couple config settings that I changed. So again, Polonex, so here are the coins I'm using: Clam, Litecoin, Omni, Navcoin, um, Sneo, Stellar, Sidecoin, Counterparty, Neem, Monero, Ripple, Steam, Steam Dollars, Junos, and uh, Bitcoin Cash. So I changed these up a little bit from the first video. So I'll just scroll slow here so you guys can write those down if you want to see them. Okay. Um, strategy is still multiple TA factors. It's been working pretty well. Percent profit, I have a set at a minimum of 1.9. So what that means is once the bot uh, gets a coin to a 1.9% profit, it will sell. Um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, keep those these asks the same. Now here's here's what I changed from the first video. So I, I turned on trailing stop loss. So what a trailing stop loss is, before I was kind of missing out. So 
what happened before was once a coin reached 1.9%, it would sell. But the problem, I mean, that's great. But the problem is if a coin shot up to 10%, I would miss out on all that gain, right? So it would sell at, you know, two, but I would miss out on, you know, 8% if it went up to 10%. So what's cool about trailing stop loss, and the reason why I didn't turn this on in the beginning is because I just wanted to establish a say, you know, a, just to see how the bot did on bare bare minimum configuration. So once I established that and saw that it was, you know, making solid, you know, two percent trades, that's when I decided to start playing around with this trailing uh, stop loss. So what what a trailing stop loss is is essentially saying, okay, so if your coin goes up past one point nine percent, have it keep going. Don't just sell it, but um, know that once once it starts dropping down, um, that's when you sell it. So you can click these little things here and it kind of explains. So a 1.5%, so if the, the currency drops below that, um, this uh, stop loss will go into effect. And then this arm, think of it as like a, um, how can I explain it? So think of it as like, uh, I wish I had something to, a better example to show you guys. Um, I'm sure just just Google it. I mean, I, I hate to go into too much detail on it, but but basically it follows. Think of it as like two. You see my hands there. So like two uh, graphs going up like that, and this is the trailing arm. So this is the profit arm, and this is the trailing arm. So if 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 it drops below this this trailing arm here, that's when it sells. So that's basically in layman's terms what that means. Um, so feel free to use my settings. I have this at 3%. So if it basically, um, you know, drops down to that 3%, it'll, it'll sell. So, uh, in other words, it can bounce, it'll go a lot higher than that 1.9. And then if it does bounce down to like a, um, to like a three, that's when it'll sell. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, again, there's a lot of information out there on, on stop losses. You can just Google that. I don't want to spend 15 minutes explaining it, but it's basically, um, it allows you to make more profit out of your trade, but still have that stop gap or that stop loss in place where if it goes down, once it reaches the top, it'll sell and you'll still make, you know, a higher profit than, you know, the set limit of 1.9. So that's basically what that means. Um, I have these still turned off. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'm playing with this literally, you know, every week. So as I make updates, I'll make more videos just to help you guys out. Um, I, I bumped up my sell uh, time and my buy time, I think, from the last video too. So now I'm up to, um, uh, I'm trying to remember what I had this at before. I think like 10, uh, um, 10 minutes maybe. Anyways, I bumped it up to 30 minutes, 30 minutes. That's basically how long they'll stay in an open or a buy position just to allow more time, you know, if there's, you know, a, a, a lag in the sync um, with the exchange or something like that. So um, I just bumped those up to 30 minutes. Max open position is 200. Again, I mean, I don't, um, like I said, I'm still in the, like, in the trial here. Now I did go and buy the hair package, um, uh, but I'm still, I'm setting it up on another bot. And then once I get it set up, I'll transfer it over. So I like it that much. I'm not even riding out the full 30 days on this trial. I know I'm buying this thing because it's awesome. Um, I'm literally two, three weeks in and I'm, I already bought it. So, um, but um, like I said, I'm still configuring that other bot, but I just wanted to give you an update, you know, on this bot while well, it's pretty much already set up. Um, then percentage to buy and then the minimum uh, per order and then the minimum minimum amount allocated. And then I have it just set up to give me a notification um, on a trade error. So that's basically it, guys. Um, any questions, let me know down in the comments. And then for signals, I'm on Crypto Grow. Again, this is, all, this is Plonex only, right? Plonex only exchange. Um, it'll vary, these signals will vary depending on what exchange um, that you're on. But uh, Crypto Grow, Crypto Lion Signals, Crypto Signals, and Crypto Wolf Signals. Now, I did buy the paid package, the Coindicator, I believe, for my other bot. Um, I think it was like five bucks a month, but it's basically machine learning, uh, which is pretty awesome. So if you go here, this, this Coindicator bot, 
Um, so I bought this. I didn't buy it for the trial, but the, the um, I bought it for my hair package that I bought. Um, so it's definitely worth five bucks a month because it triggers a ton of signals. So if you go to this website, you can see, I mean, look at yesterday. I mean, this was what, like, ew, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, like what, like 30, 40, like 40 signals just yesterday. Um, so that's, you know, a potential 40 trades right there. And look at these percent gains. So that to me is worth $5 a month. It's, and this is machine learning too. This isn't like guesses. I mean, these are legit, you know, computer algorithms built off of charting, you know, algorithm, uh, machine learning uh, built in to read past charting tools. You know, basically what, you know, passed over from the stock market, right? So this is, I mean, it's, this is legit stuff. Um, now, I mean, global performance, you know, you know, again, I don't, you know, I, I can't verify this, but once I do, I'll let you know. Um, I just signed up for this the other day and I have it, I'm setting it up right now on my other bot. And once that gets set up, I'll let you guys know how this works. But to me, that's worth five bucks. I mean, I can make five bucks in one trade. So, I mean, $5 a month is easily worth it for me. So that's basically it guys. Um, let me know any questions for the comments. Feel free to join that Facebook group. Give me time. I'm literally a hundred people a day are asking to join that Facebook group and I literally can't keep up because you know there's questions to join I don't want anyone just to, I don't want scammers I don't want people posting referral links I mean literally that group is spam free referral link free I mean all we do is I mean there's experts in the group and that's literally all we do is talk about you know we give advice, expert advice. We're not, there is literally zero spam whatsoever in there. And that's why it takes so long to approve requests in that Facebook group because I literally screen every single person that uh, wants to go in there. I make sure they answer all the questions. I read what they write in the questions. I'm looking to see what, why they want to join the group. Um, I'm verifying if they, um, I want people, you know, subscribe to the channel and, and get involved. So I'm making sure that they subscribe to the YouTube channel, you know, just stuff like that. I'm making sure not just anyone just wants to come in in there and, you know, spam because you can go to any other crypto group for that, <laughs> you know. Um, so, so that's it. Oh, before I go, um, this whole market crash that's happening right now. Um, it, like I said, it's the 22nd of January and it's tanked. Yes, South Korea is putting restrictions. Yes, China is going after the miners. Um, yes, Asia is full of FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt of crypto uh, with regulations. Yes, the whole BitConnect thing kind of went under because of North Carolina and Texas is, issued uh, season and desist letters for them. Um, you know, whether or not, you know, they were a, a Ponzi and everything else. Um, I don't know, but you know, the reason, or they say the reason why they closed up shop. Well, I mean, they're still active. The site's still up. They just shut down the lending portion. I mean, everything else is still there. It's just, that they're no, no longer doing the lending, but the reason why they shut it down is they said that, uh, they received the season desist from the state of North Carolina and Texas and the U S. So, um, so there's a lot of stuff that would push that, you know, the reasons why the market tanked, but to be honest, guys, I think this has a lot to do with it. Bitcoin futures, you know, CEO and, um, or, or what is it? Uh, the CEO and CEMO, um, the Bitcoin future uh, groups, I think, or CBEO, sorry. Um, I think these, these guys are manipulating the hell out of the market. And the reason why is because if you do your research, the first contract just expired like the other day. So, uh, so let's see, where did it say that in this article? Yeah. So the January 17th when, anyways, just Google Bitcoin futures, you know, crypto market crash, Bitcoin futures and read and educate yourself. And I guarantee you there is a correlation between the crypto market crashing and Bitcoin future contracts expiring. So from now on, the advice I can give you guys is look at Bitcoin future contracts when they expire, 
make sure you you are not in or you at least get ready to buy more because it, it'll crash every time these bitcoin future markets or, or contracts expire bitcoin will crash and then because they want you know these whales the you know the the stock market big banker guys that are that are in these in these future contracts right they want it bottom of the barrel because as soon as that contract expires guess what they want in on the next contract and they want in on the next contract at the lowest possible price they can get it right so they will manipulate the market as much as they can to bottom barrel that bitcoin price and uh you know, so when they when they sign up for that next Bitcoin future contract, they get it at the cheapest possible price and then they're going to ride it up, you know, and then and then Bitcoin price will go up and they'll make sure Bitcoin price goes up and then come, you know, time for that that future contract to expire again. They're going to crash it again. So just prepare yourself for that. Um, and from now on, I'm literally going to place my maybe my buys and sells at least for, for bitcoin and, and for holding bitcoin around these bitcoin future contracts so all right guys that's it um any questions let me know in the comments feel free to join that facebook group and i will see you in the next video take care